Oh my god, I, if today is not the worst day ever, I don't know what is. I'm in Ghana, right? I'm in Ghana right now. I can't take any money out. I literally have um, 36 CDs in my wallet. And um, I haven't got my accommodation paid for. This is what happened. I had been staying at a hotel, but because I come to Ghana often, I thought it would make more sense to rent a flat. It could be cheaper in the long term. If you are renting an apartment in Ghana, you must pay for a whole year right up front. How much is it? 28. Yeah. Yeah. that it will show that oh, the spirit man was the one also who have. Yes. So we need to let case, him in case money is paid. So the accommodation I wanted to rent would have cost me approximately three thousand pounds for a whole year. My friend helped me find this lovely two bedroom flat in a gated community. I signed the contract and tried to transfer the money. But my bank decided that since I had never transferred this much to Ghana, this must have been a fraudulent transfer. And they froze all my money. I mean, all of it. I was 100% broke in Ghana. I thank God, though, because people came to help me, some without knowing my situation. Some of those people I had met before, and others were complete strangers, but now are friends. One of them is my Ivorian sister, whom I met through the Expat Live Ghana Facebook group. I met her about a year ago, so now that I had nowhere to stay, she welcomed me into her home. Another friend fed me at his restaurant, which also became the location from where I worked remotely. So let me say that in Africa, the community aspect is essential and there are kind people there. Anyway, I had no access to my money for 72 hours, after which my bank unfroze my account, but still I could not use my card. Hence, I had to transfer mobile money to my friend who took cash out at a mobile money shop and gave it to me. <sighs> so finally, I was able to rent a flat at Kokrobita where we spent the weekend with my kids who previously were staying with their Ghanaian grandmother. Please don't ask me why I could not stay there. It's a long story. I might share it one day in a memoir or something. Maybe. This is a checker. We are making a checker with tilapia. This is tilapia, isn't it? Let's this is tilapia. Hi, Phil. This is tilapia. Why are you not helpful, my friend? Because I'm not good. <coughs> because you're not good, but I am also contributing. I would just like to say, Ta -da! my contribution. I'm just pouring oil. We will be frying the plantain while the kids are playing hide and seek. Seek. More or just this? More. More. Ooh. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I am such a great cook. Is Ghana safe for a woman? <gasps> it's night. It's not really night. You just, we just by the equator, I guess. That's the reason why it gets dark really soon or early, should I say? This phone is not expensive, so that's the reason why I'm, you know, not too fast. But I think Ghana is okay for a lady. I like it. <laughs> the kids. Good evening, my dear. 
<laughs> they are so cute. She knows me, she says. She doesn't know me. But, you know, we're all brothers and sisters. So I guess she knows me like that. I'm not American. <laughs> oh, Brony. Oh, classic. Oh, thank you so much. All right, girl. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I loved Afrikiko. It is a place where you can eat, hang out, learn to dance kizomba, and enjoy good music. I did have a go on the dance floor, by the way. So one thing I am learning from Ghanaians, I think Africans in general, is not to be too serious about life. Life is short, so enjoy it, is what I often hear them say. And let me tell you, Ghanaians know how to, and they love to enjoy life. So I am back in London, but I am going to an event called Innovating in Africa. Um, tomorrow is um, the coronation day, I think it is tomorrow. This event and my last trip to Ghana put Nigeria back on my radar. If you've been watching my vlog for some time, you know that I've been trying to get my Niger passport. It has been a year with no progress, but we don't give up. Meanwhile, I will be traveling to the United States of America next month for my client's book launch. As a Polish citizen, I don't need a visa, but I need to register my coming to America on this website. I wanted to show you one question. I thought it was funny that they would ask if you seek to engage in these activities. I mean, who'd answer yes, even if they were planning to engage in espionage or something? But back to the book launch. It is taking place in Florida at the beginning of June. Beyond My Smile. It is a wonderful, wonderful book, which will be available on Amazon soon. Now, let me conclude with this. One of the reasons I was in Ghana this time was that Accra is the world book capital 2023. And as a book publisher who operates internationally, I am not trying to miss this opportunity.